Any child with internet access through a smartphone or another device is at risk and the consequences can be deadly. And the FBI calls this sextortion. Kids are tricked into sending pictures of themselves to someone who then demands money in exchange for not sending the images to others. The agency launching an awareness campaign called Stop Sextortion. Sean Lay live with what the FBI says parents need to know right now. Sean. It's important for all parents to take a moment to listen. We met with the FBI today and they said, look, they are sounding the alarm on this because the cases involving children are mounting up right here in Metro Detroit. Nobody wants to talk about this, right? Your son, your daughter doesn't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing, mortifying if anyone found out, but it's a talk that has to happen. It's truly a matter of life and death. Here's why. Just days ago, 17-year-old Jordan DeMay in Marquette in the UP took his own life after an online predator posed as a girl got Jordan to send compromising photos and videos of himself, then was immediately extorted. The person threatened to send everything to Jordan's friends. The teen sent $300. It wasn't enough. Six hours after Jordan got the chilling threat, the photos went out. Jordan committed suicide. The FBI in Detroit says more than two dozen families, many in Metro Detroit, have now come forward saying their children, too, are being extorted. The person on the other end of that message could be anywhere, could be within the United States, could be overseas. The FBI says boys 13 to 17 are being approached online. In Jordan's case, it was Instagram. They're asked to send sexual images. Then demands are made for money to keep those images from being sent to family and friends. And so the easiest way to prevent victims from becoming victims, right, is to let them know that this is happening. And so our goal in this is to alert parents to have these difficult conversations. So we want to emphasize the child is not the person in trouble, right? It's the perpetrator. That's a very important point from R. Schneider with the FBI who we met with today. But look, the FBI also wants to get the word out, but they also want to go after the people that are doing this, getting into your son or daughter's phone. And they can't do that without the parents' help or the kids. They need to hear from you if you think you've become victim or someone like this has tried to get in contact with your children. Back to you. And Sean, the FBI is working with some important evidence here. Some families, especially locally, have stepped forward, yes, and have screen grabs of these messages where they're coming from. So that is giving uh, the FBI some evidence on at least starting to try to trace back where these people are yeah. coming from. Yeah. All right, Sean.